Okay. We want to welcome you back to this channel. Um, today, we're going to be sharing a video of the founder and dean of the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research, Dr. Henry C. Kinley. And it is clearly our understanding that not only was Dr. Henry C. Kinley the man chosen at the end of our age to bring the true gospel so that you're prepared to take off the flesh and that you have some understanding as to what is coming after you take off the flesh. In the book of Revelation, it tells you that when the seventh angel shall begin to sound, the mystery of Yahweh should be finished. Now I'm gonna let you listen to this lecture. And after you finish listening to this lecture, you answer the question right within yourself, is the mystery of Yahweh finished in you? Did he show you and give you an understanding of where you need to be in terms of your understanding down here at the end of this age? So Yahweh sent Noah at the end of the age, in the antediluvian age. He sent Yahshua Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, at the end of the post-Diluvian age to close or to, to fulfill, not to institute, but to fulfill the law and usher in the kingdom. He told you when he came that the kingdom of Yahweh was at hand. He also told you that the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not in a way foreseen by man. He also told you that the kingdom was within you. So all this physicality that you're hearing these brothers talk about, you know, a physical kingdom and wives and all this kind of stuff, they are emphatically liars. And that's the bottom line. I'd like to see somebody dispute what we teach on this channel. I would love to see it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tape started. <clears throat> it's about an hour long. You wanna get somewhere, be still and listen intently. Also, what's included on this uh, video is the transcript, which is really good. And that way you can, if you didn't hear a word, you can read what was said and get an understanding. Okay, so let's get started. Also, I will, during the time of this video, there may be times where I stop and show you a chart okay, that Dr. Kinley created in his efforts to share with you the vision that he had in the year 1931. He had a panoramic vision, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. He had a panoramic vision in the year 1931 and he said, make me prove it to your satisfaction. He said, ask me questions, make me prove it. Okay, he was the same one that I told you before who wrote the book, The Elohim, The Archetype Original Pattern. Of the universe. Okay. So let's get into it. Again, clear your mind, pay attention. We down here at the end of the age and Yahweh right now is gleaning the fields. You know, he's sealing his servants and he's gleaning the fields and that's what's going on. So pay attention. And what to, uh, as usual, turn your volume down and then turn it up after the audio begins. This one starts a little low, but maybe five minutes in and it gets louder. So uh, just be mindful of that. All right, I'm gonna read the uh, transcript history real quick. And synopsis. It's transcribed by Dr. Greg Prestes, proof read by Ron Brazil, Shannon Brewster, and Carl Himmler. Uh, this lecture was probably given the week of October 16th, 1970. Dr. Kenley references a Time Magazine article from this week. Forgive uh, me for shaking. Dr. Kenley discusses the following topics. Dr. Kenley is speaking by request because there are some visitors that are very that are from different churches. All scripture that is given by the inspiration of Yahweh is profitable. This refers to the law and prophets in the book of Revelation, which were all given by vision. 
and this school seeks to spread all over the world this vision and this revelation that Yahweh gave me in 1931. Another God's kingly quote is, I said if my vision and revelation that I had was any different from that that Moses and John and the rest of the prophets had, did you get what I said? I said I was a liar. Now, anybody else that comes up with anything contrary to what Moses and the prophets said, I don't care who they are, they are a liar. The first thing we have to do, we have to go by the pattern or the plan, which constitutes Yahweh's purpose. Yahweh created the creation after the pattern of himself. He gave a beautiful correlation of the seed of vegetation, the seed of Abraham, and Yahshua the Messiah being planted and resurrected by the pattern. And he encourages us to follow him, Dr. Kimmy, and specifies that he means in the scriptures and in the book. You got the Father one, you got the Son, Elohim here, in corporalization, and then you've got the Son here in the flesh, you see? Now look, pure spirit is in this element, and it's also in this, Yahshua. Pure spirit is one, shape and form, or incorporeal is two, and this is three. All right, there's no hell no scripture, and we're going to begin the audio now. Again, this is uh, Southout Take 30, 36, or Dropbox Take 39. We're going to begin now. Hello, I'm Dr. Henry C. Kennedy. First, I want to say that I'm not here to talk to you. Comprehensible, 
And if there is any questions, well, then uh, we ought to be able to dissolve. Now, we're not here to try to take up a little religious denomination under the sun. And I want to make it real good and clear in the office that this is a school, not a church. Now, when I say that, I mean that anybody from any religious organization or just anybody who chooses to come can come. You're free, you're welcome, and we're here to inform you and to give you instructions and information about things that you have wondered about all of your life. Now this we know that with as much confusion as it has been in the world, surely Yahweh must have a purpose and a plan. Yeah. And if Yahweh exists and has a purpose and a plan, uh, it goes without saying that he would have somebody on earth. I'm not, not, I do mean all the way down to uh, that he would operate through or function through or speak through to relate and to relate his purpose to somebody. Uh, so the second understanding. So now it's not all that complicated that uh, you can't understand. It is the intellectual ability and <laughs> comprehension of the so-called theologians that has confused the world. You see? Now, I just must be frank with you about it. Now, they just don't know what they're talking about. And that's the reason why they can't explain them. They don't understand. <laughs> Now, they all bring up a question. What are we told to do? 
Yeah. Now, it will tell you that a new people that are trying to find out. See, just open your Bible and get a little way to find it. Get somebody that belongs to this school or somebody that doesn't know where to find that. And you read it. Right. right along with it. See, because now we're trying to tell you this is the school. All right, now read.
say because we got the bread of all the mess up. Alright. You see what I mean? We're trying to follow somebody that don't know what it's really all about. See? We're getting an interpretation for it. But when you do that, I well, say, well, 550 million people can't be wrong. You say that? Can't be wrong. Can you prove that? Yes, sir. I can prove it. If you look at the 12th chapter of Revelation, you find it out. I don't have to look at it now. I don't have to look at it later. You find that 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 on the surface. That dragon was cast out of heaven and it's tailed through the third part of the stars of heaven. Now, Oh, that. <laughs> that's my brother fighting in the fifth grade. Okay, isn't that right? Uh, so it, it, it's possible for fighting in the fifth grade to be wrong. In fact, it's more wrong than that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> and now we're just giving it to you straight. Okay. Trying to give you some. There's no thing you come down here to the place that I learned nothing. No sense in the dark. Pay around $20 a meeting. There's no sense in us throwing away our money. And you coming down here just to be down here. You see what I mean? We want to know something. And we're taught of many philosophical concepts and interpretations of this study. 